Good evening. For the past hour, we've been following breaking news in southeast Oak Cliff, where I-20 is shut down after a deadly accident. Three vehicles were involved in the westbound lanes of I-20 near Bonnie View Road. The backup now stretching for at least nine miles. Fox 4's Zahid Arab is on the scene right now, just east of the accident, where crews are really trying to get this all cleaned up. Zahid. Well, Heather, I'm here at I-20 in the J.J. Lemon overpass where you see sheriff's deputies are diverting all traffic away from the on-ramp to the westbound lanes here for this fatal accident investigation. Sheriff's deputies tell me the closures span all the way back to I-45. Now, let's take a look at the damage from Sky 4 where you see backup for miles and cars smash beyond recognition. It all started around 3.35 this afternoon when a work convoy was clearing debris. Now, for some reason, a worker stepped into a lane of traffic and was hit by a Chevy Impala. Now, that impact also caught a silver Yaris caught up in the crash as well. We know one person is dead and another was taken to Baylor Medical Center. Their injuries are unknown at this time. Now, right now, as Heather, you mentioned, traffic is at a nine-mile backup. But earlier, it was much worse, forcing some drivers to pull over to avoid overheating. That was about a half a mile back there, and uh, it cooled down, so I drove on up here, and it got hot again. Now, for now, all traffic is being diverted onto I-45, but eastbound I-20 lanes are still open. Now, investigators tell us their goal is to have the area back open and their investigation completed in just about a half hour, but there's no telling what they'll how long it exactly it'll take that's just an estimate at this time but once again one person dead another person injured taken to baylor medical center with unknown injuries 